We're the Lockwoods, and we're traveling the world to experience up close and in person all the natural wonders and distinct cultures that our kids would otherwise be seeing only in textbooks and TV. We've just finished a phenomenal jaunt through the coast and jungle of Bali, but now we're leaving Indonesia and heading back to our favorite destination of the Philippines to complete a few Cebu adventures that got caught in the chopping block last year. But it's not a straight flight, and we're taking two days to get there, so we're gonna find a way to spend the night in Hong Kong without leaving the airport, without booking a hotel room, and without causing a kiddo meltdown. Let's get to it. Bye bye. Catch, catch a lot of geckos for me. Okay. okay. Don't keep a funky one. You have family here. Oh, thank you. We felt like family here. Yeah. We hate goodbyes. I know, I would say that it's bittersweet, but it just feels bitter to leave this beautiful, beautiful villa and to leave our best friends. We're just so happy here. And a staff that hugs you like that and says you're family. This was a great trip. But we are on to transit through the Hong Kong airport. So we have to get to the airport. We'll see them in a month and a half. Yeah. Hulk, let's say goodbye. Just keep, the, keep your window open while we say goodbye. Yeah. We don't have a handshake, we just cry. We just cry. <laughs> bye, my love. No, don't leave us! Don't leave us! It is so hard to say goodbye to them. And now we have a, a bit of a treacherous travel day. It's two travel days. We have a two and a half hour drive to the airport. And I just got a notification that our flight is delayed three and a half hours. Already off to a tough start. So we didn't hit any traffic, so we're here an additional hour early. It's 1.16 and we haven't eaten since breakfast, so we are all starving. I hope they have some good eats in here. Got to get one more workout in before we fly. This airport, this big area out here has all the food stops, uh, and then we'd have to go through security. I'm not even sure what's back there. Since we were so early for our flight, I think we're gonna maybe look for some lunch here. Which actually always makes me a little nervous. I like to check in, get the boarding passes, get past security, and then I don't care how long we have to wait for our flight, but we're doing it a little differently because we want the better restaurant. There's two dragons Asian, fresh, juice, and healthy foods. I think we're gonna do two dragons. Everybody's in the mood for some ramen. Now we can check in. We have to go through a little uh, security check to get to the ticket ticket agency, or not the agency, a little security checkpoint to get to the ticket desks. I am so tongue tied. I forgot to take my spare drone battery and put it in carry on. Okay, well, lucky us. Okay. I don't understand why, but... This happens a lot. Since we're a family, uh, yeah. people will be like, yeah, you're a family, why don't you just go in this other line? Or in this case, an online. I think it's because they they don't want kids waiting in such long lines and acting up. Screaming, yelling, tantrum. We are going in. To get into the Philippines, we need our passports valid for six months after the date we arrived, plus vaccination proof and a health declaration form, which I did online. I actually did it in the taxi cab on the way here and I got my QR code, so we're set. I knew we should have checked in before eating because they gave us food vouchers and look on the back, it even includes the restaurant that we ate at already. Uh, but that's okay because we're here so long, we're probably gonna eat again, we'll use them. Very, very true. I, okay, what time is it now? It's 2.42 and our flight doesn't leave until 7.45, five hours. All right, we're gonna go through security for real now. Bye. What? <sighs> Delayed, even more. Now we don't leave until after 8 p.m. <laughs> I thought we were gonna have a long layover in Hong Kong and slowly but surely, we're just gonna have a long pre what would you even call it? Pre-flight. We're gonna sleep here probably. <laughs> yeah, the key part of this experience may very well not even happen at this rate. Even though we just ate, we need a place to set up our computers, get a little bit of work done on the Wi-Fi, and uh, we'll need food soon enough again. So I think we're gonna jump into Wolfgang Puck Kitchen and Bar because our little voucher, which is probably worth like $10, if we're being honest, each. is for here. Per oh, person. each, each. Yeah, probably 15 bucks per person. Hi. Four, please. Okay. You're about to see something real special. 
have fun doing it. The internet is pretty horrendous here, so not a good place to get work done. Nah, not for me because I do editing and I don't need internet for that. We just can't upload our next episode. We have to wait till we have better internet to upload it to YouTube to launch it. Four more hours left. Three hours left. Two hours left. One hour left. Finally, let's get to the gate. We have about 20 minutes until boarding, so we're gonna stop by the uh, little snack station here and get something for the plane, and then board. That monitor just said they changed the gate, so... Uh, oh, right here, Hong Kong. This way, now. Cheesy, 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 cheesy Pringles. What if we look for something very healthy and a candy? Uh, 200. And at long last, it is time to board our flight. Interesting fact, we are taking a Cafe Pacific 777 to Hong Kong. And up until a few years ago, our next door neighbor was a captain on 777s for Cafe Pacific heading to Hong Kong. Now we fly as for United. And I wish we were on United. They board by seat row and we're 68 and look how long this line is. It's already bedtime. Are you tired no. yet? No. Brooklyn, are you tired? I guess it's the sugar. That's definitely a yes. They act super hyper when they're tired. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Thank, Thank you. you. I really hope that our lounge has extra toothbrushes because I don't have any for the kids. Especially after giving them all that sugar, we really got to keep up with the teeth brushing. It's funny that when we fly with United, we usually get to board first because we have such good seats. And here with Cafe Pacific, we're boarding first because we have such bad seats. Isn't that funny? That is kind of funny, huh? Hello. 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 Is this all us right here in the middle, babe? Yeah, why don't you go across, you go across. It's a five hour flight and it's already after eight o'clock, so we don't get in until after 1 a.m. Neck pillow. Check. The aircraft is now being refueled. Blanket. Check. It's my favorite neck pillow. It's our favorite neck pillow. We all have it. It's part of our Stuff We Love collection on our website. Follow abc.com slash stuff we love. It's been a while. Same with the blanket, I think. Yeah, gravel travel blanket. It is awesome. It's so puffy like a down comforter, but it fits into the size of a grapefruit. It has spots for your feet, for your hands, for your phone. It's awesome. And since I'm wearing shorts and a short sleeve shirt tonight, I'm gonna get cold. So. Score. It's a great setup. I'm just happy that we're all four together. We have the entire middle section. So we can spread out, or at least Phil can. He can, you know, put his elbows out as far as he wants. I'm actually gonna watch a movie. The Weird Al Yankovic story sounds very interesting. I've always been a fan of Weird Al. We're at least finally pushing back. It's four and a half hours in the air, but he said that there's some weather in Hong Kong, so we're hoping there aren't gonna be more delays. Three, two, Good night. Zero. Well, that flew by. We're landing in Hong Kong soon. Oh, I didn't even come close to finishing my movie. We all got a few hours sleep, but we all need a few more. So, on a stage two. Good, good nap, sweetie pie. Hi, thank you. We are in Hong Kong, the fifth busiest airport in the world. And we're here for seven more hours. So we have to find ourselves a nice comfy lounge that we can sleep in. Since our flight was so late, we think, based on a little bit of limited internet research, that we're entitled to maybe 400 bucks per passenger? That is what I read. And like you said, a little bit of internet research. We have to go this way. We need to talk to a ticketing agent. So since we're taking Cathay Pacific again in the morning, we're gonna wait until then to talk to, to somebody about that and see what we can do. You can always read the fine print and see what you're entitled to if there's a long delay over three hours. But so far, so good, no meltdowns. We wanna keep that going. 
So we're looking for gate 35, because that's where the Plaza Premium Lounge should be, and that's where we wanna go. This is a nighttime lounge, so it only opens at 11 p.m. And I, I'm not sure what time it closes, sometime in the morning. So it's really for transit passengers traveling through the night. And we think we have access to it through our American Express Platinum card, but maybe only three of us at most, so we might have to pay for one. Still a pretty good deal and a pretty sweet place to spend a few hours, we hope, based on what we've read online. Brooklyn just realized she left her iPad in the seat back pocket on the plane. We really need to get that. So we're looking for a service desk so that they can help us, hopefully before that flight leaves. Future Phil jumping in for a second here. We often talk about the great travel credit cards that we use, but it's usually in the context of getting free flights or free hotel stays or access to luxury airport lounges around the world for free buffets, cocktails, and of course, super fast Wi-Fi. But Brooklyn's $1,400 mistake brings up another useful benefit that we've actually had to take advantage of before. Since we just bought that iPad using our American Express Business Platinum card, it's covered against accidental theft, damage, and get this, loss. Now I'm not gonna spoil the outcome of this little challenge, but I did just add a page to our website that outlines all of the cards we use, what we love about them, and provides an online application in case you wanna start enjoying some of the same benefits. Just go to followabc.com slash credit cards or click the link in the description. Back to Hong Kong. We have no idea where the service desk is and there are no humans around to ask. So we're trying to pull it up on our phones to figure it out, but it's gonna be a little bit of a wild goose chase here until we get our hands on that iPad. This place just goes on forever and forever and, oh, security. Okay, not very helpful. Um, he's saying that maybe everything is closed because it's 2 a.m. here. So we're gonna keep looking. What's the word? I'm trying to WhatsApp the airline to see if they can help us. It's 100% not what you wanna deal with at 2 a.m. when no. you only have a few hours layover. No, but I have to say that Phil is handling this beautifully. He is practicing so much patience with the kids, which brings me patience and we're just dealing with it one thing at a time, one moment at a time, and doing our best. At least the kids are burning off a little bit of energy and having some fun. Yeah, I'm the opposite. <laughs> oh no, I need to sit down. We should just go to the lounge because I'm what's happening and what's happening with the customer service anyway, and it says it's gonna be a long time before somebody can actually hop on a, a WhatsApp and help me. That sign says it's open 11 p.m. to 8 a.m. And right now it is 2.22 a.m. All right, I understand. I did I try, but this was, yeah, this is just, I'll have to deal with that later. Thank you. We got into the lounge, but unfortunately, the shower cabins are all full. We were trying to get four reservations, but since our flight was so delayed, we just came too late and they're booked already. But we're grateful to at least be in a lounge. They have hot food if we're hungry, because there's a dining room area, there's the buffet area, and then there's the lounge area with the chairs. And they're big enough for the kids to cuddle up and sleep. So honestly, as long as they're getting sleep, we're gonna be fine. Plus, I think I'm gonna be dealing with trying to find Brooklyn's iPad for the next couple of hours. So I, I'm probably not gonna get sleep. It's a bit of an interesting setup. They seem to be somewhat hands-off. I'm sure everybody's very tired and they don't want to bug people too much. There's a guy in our lounge who's laying there with no shirt on. People just sprawled out pushing chairs together to try to get a little bit of sleep. Since we used our American Express card, three of us were able to enter the lounge for free. And the fourth, since the kids were so young, they were able to get in for free as well. So we didn't have to pay any fees and we can only be here for three hours unless we want to pay more. So just the three hours are included. That'll get us out to the gates early enough that hopefully we can find a gate agent that can help us with Brooklyn's iPad and to talk about what we're entitled to for a four hour delay. It like cooks your pancakes and it rolls them out and they're perfect, perfectly cooked. You know, around. Yeah, you just pour the batter into them, I think. 
They have these little black pads in between the chairs and they're chargers for your phone. So I just set my phone down on it and it's charging. It's exactly 5 a.m. here now, which means we have exactly 30 minutes left on our time limit. As much as I would love to be able to catch a few Z's between now and then, I just don't see it happening. I am glad that Brooklyn and Colt finally zonked out though, between the flight and the drive and our next flight coming up and a drive after that, I think they're gonna be just fine for the day. In fact, this might be the most sleep they've gotten in a while. 5.30 came around real quick. We've got to head out of the lounge now. Oh. Oh. We don't know what gate we're at, so we have to find a monitor. We're so early that they haven't even announced what gate our flight's gonna be taken off from. Gate 68. So we have a little walk to do. And uh, not a soul here. We need to talk to a human. We still cannot find any Cathay Pacific representative anywhere in this airport. I might just drop my bags with you guys and walk down to gate 11 where the customer service desks are and just see if maybe they're open. Maybe they open at 6 a.m. Okay. Let's do that. Erin made it to the info desk and nobody is there yet, but she said that they claim that at 6.30 people will be there. So the rest of us are walking back over there to meet her right now. And hopefully we can get resolution on these two issues. Mom's at gate 11 and we're at gate 63. Can we play at the park again? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Okay, what's the word? Well, I'm glad they have something to do uh, because the information desk said that the Cathay Pacific representatives will be here at 6.30. <gasps> it's 6.27. Somebody is here at the desk. We're just waiting until she's ready to take on customers. We have a few things we need help with, but first of all, our daughter left her iPad on our flight. She's gonna look for it. Uh, per your website, we can get compensation for that. She wants to know where I found that information and on their website, it's right here, under passengers, rates, and regulations. This, this is how you do it. What? Yes. No. no. It's the pinky in this one. All right, guys, you have to let us know in the comments. Is this fingers crossed or this thing that I can't even do? do right. Let me show them. This one. You're delirious. Lack of sleep. <laughs> Phil also thinks I don't tie my shoes right. Okay. Right. Thank you. Okay. She was very kind, very nice, and she really tried to help us. But I have to say, I am not impressed with Cathay Pacific with the delays and not being able to help with the iPad, not having any representatives in the airport, and another delay on top of that. And not having any idea what the cause of the delay was, yeah. even though it's their airlines. It's frustrating that we're basically not getting closure on anything here today. We need to go board our flight because we have to get out of here. One step at a time, we gotta get to Cebu. We're gonna open up a claim and hopefully we can inch it along, but you're right, I'm not feeling terribly optimistic that we're gonna get the iPad, which is really, really upsetting. All right, guys. Hey, on the bright side, I am halfway through closing my fitness goals because of all the walking we've done from gate to gate to gate to gate to gate to gate. But for now, we're gonna board. We are excited to get back to the Philippines for the third time in the past year. And we've got some really cool episodes and activities and adventures planned for this trip. So please follow us along. The next episode starts right now. Here's an update. It's been about a month since that travel day and the iPad unfortunately was never recovered. But we were covered by the purchase protection so we got every dime back for that. So that is a plus. The other thing is that Cathay Pacific, we filled out their feedback form and they let us know that they're going to take six weeks to respond. So we've not heard from them and we are definitely not impressed with the experience with that airline. He is playing his phone so loudly and he still hasn't put his shirt back on. I'm pretty sure he's drunk. 
because he still hasn't put his shirt back on. It's just wrapped around his neck and he has ear pods in, but he's playing it out of the speaker on his phone. I think he thinks he's hearing it through his ear pods, but it's just blaring to everybody. But they're making him shut it off. It's fixed now. It's just unbelievable. The attendant just spoke to him, told him to put his shirt on and to turn his music down. And as soon as he walks away, he turns his music back on and still no shirt.